We have a lot of news today, so we're going to get straight into it. If you haven't tried out the new like animation, press that and let's get right into the news. So Oxy went to Twitter and said this will save 2K matchmaking ranked modes. 1v1, 2v2, and 3v3. Rank resets every season with new rewards which you receive based on the rank you were able to obtain. Slight lineup requirements. Everyone is 95 overall with the same amount of badge upgrades, so every game is fair. I like that a lot, but that doesn't need to be the only game mode. So if they add something like this that I've been talking about, the ranked game mode or something like oxy there's many ways they can do this it needs to be separate from the park so people can casually play as well now it also reminds me of the secret 2k game if you guys haven't seen me play on that on my channel but look we got a lot more to get into like i told you guys it is a long video today so look i am a man and i will tell you guys i was wrong yesterday i gave you the wrong information i'm so sorry the game is actually free on june 13th for playstation plus it's already free if you have xbox game pass so it won't be free on playstation until june 13th Teenth, NBA 2K22. So when that day comes, make sure to tell your friends, or if you don't have the game, go download it and try it out. Anyway, Prize Picks is giving away free money. This is a badge plug exclusive offer. Literally, Steph Curry has to score one point tomorrow to win fifty dollars on any five plus NBA entry. So you just make an entry like this over five bucks and win fifty dollars. So use my link in the description or code badge plug to get this offer. Please remember the Steph Curry offer for him scoring one point to make fifty dollars is only for first time depositors. So if you've Use it before you will not get this offer shout out to prize picks for sponsoring the video click that link in the description to go get your free money and let's get back into the news anyway a lot of people like oxy are putting out great opinions for nba 2k23 and what it should have so what i want you guys to do is go to the comment section it can be one word mascots or something like that it can be a paragraph let us know like an nba 2k dev went to you and said yo what should we have in 2k23 write that in the comment section let's see who can get the most liked tweet so go in the comments and like what you think is a great idea for 2k23 now solo posted his own he said imagine nba 2k23 is the perfect 2k and we have top 10 leaderboard events rookie to legend fire level rewards insane dribbling good paint defense a new park balanced builds why it's going in way less and more so that honestly is a great little list right there of course that's not going to you know make 2k perfect but one of the big things for the events is like i've been saying is that even if they have events in the game that are ranked they have to be monitoring those events right away or right after the event they go through and they look and they ban the people that were boosting and then they give the people who didn't boost their spot you see what i'm saying like if someone's in 11th place and 10th gets you know banned for boosting then that person who's in 11th place now gets the reward so they gotta have something like that because i love playing events that's a huge thing in 2k but i've not been motivated at all to play them since i don't even know 2k 18 2k 19 because everyone boosts almost every person winning the events is boosting some people do win legit but it takes away from the people that are playing it legit now once again i was wrong about yesterday on another thing and that was what 2k patched so i don't know where it started but i woke up and every single person was saying that tight handles and stuff was patched so i was like okay there's no way there's 100 people lying and i guess they were so i was sent this dm right here and it says this was the gameplay patch fix a rare issue in which a made shot will not count after a defensive goaltending violation occurs fix an improper animation transition that allowed players to unrealistically change momentum and direction when branching from a quick stop move to a hop step gather fixing the issue that caused zeroed out stats to display on the match up screen in the wreck so that's apparently the only thing they changed in the gameplay they actually didn't touch anything with quick stops or quick peaks which is good and bad because you know tight handles why is that even in the game why is that badge even in the game you're literally playing perfect defense you're just sitting there boom clamping up clamping up and then you get took out and stunned from playing defense for absolutely no reason while you're standing there playing great defense i hope that badge does not make it into nba 2k23 and it would definitely be at one of the top of my list for gameplay issues on this game and something that should not make it to 2k23 for sure you guys let me know what is something in the gameplay that should not make it to nba 2k23 or a badge 
or a certain play style, something like that that 2K needs to look at for 2K23. Because look, I think I'm starting to get a better relationship with 2K, as you guys know, and they know I'm not a robot. I'm not gonna just sit there and compliment them all day. I'm gonna call them out when things are wrong or things need to get fixed as well. But I do think that I'm starting to build a better relationship with them. If you guys have seen my video months ago where I said I'm gonna try to be better and try to get things fixed internally in the game so that we can actually have changes in the game because it doesn't seem like when I when you know when you say F you 2K fix this, things get changed and they want respectable people to uh bring issues to them well it's looking good so far and yeah that's why i'm saying put things in the comment section because it might be passed on to someone at 2k anyway deleting but if you read this go hard the start of 2k 23 been doing this for six years now can't count how many times people who quote unquote fell off during the summer started a new 2k getting 3,000, 300,000, 400,000 a video secure your growth early in the year and ride the wave till the end of it so grinding is a hundred percent right if you all are wanting to grow in the 2k community make sure you post at the very beginning of the year a lot try to be consistent if you can because of course like almost every game the views are the highest when it first comes out and then for 2k it pops around in the park community when people are starting to hit legend cough cough there's no legend grind this year so we didn't get to see that 2k put that legend grind back in the game the legend was a parrot this year bro ah man that's bad but anyway look we all started at zero subscribers i started at zero grinding cash nasty joe knows whoever you look up to they started at zero bro you can do it as well you have to be consistent and you have to grind or you're not going to get there you it's not going to be handed to you anyway dignify said what do you guys think the level 40 reward is going to be in season seven i'm hoping and praying it's not another cosmetic item for the seventh season in a row and i didn't even think about that but i mean according to dignify's tweet there has actually been six cosmetic level 40 uh rewards in a row so like the go-kart mascot easter bunny skeleton they're all cosmetics there has to be something that comes out that has something to do with gameplay that makes people want to get on the game look i'm literally like it's bad i want you guys to comment down below what your level is right now in season six bro i'm level seven i'm level seven bro because i don't have a reason to get on there's no incentive i've played the game for six months so i know what the gameplay is like right it has nothing to do with me hating on the gameplay or the game it's just that i've played it for six or seven months now but if there was something to grind for that meant something to me you know what i'm saying like had worth had some incentive made me go man i really have to get on to get this I would probably hit level 40. I mean, depending on what it is, of course, I'd probably hit level 40. And that's how a lot of people feel. And that's why we also want the legend grind back next year or having a season grind and legend grind. But now at this point, if they can only do one, I have to pick the legend grind because it's just bad, bro. Like I understand the whole concept of people who don't play the game a lot are able to get rewards, but are you guys actually happy with the rewards that you're getting? I really don't think so for most people, but look, y'all, click one of these two videos right here if they interest you. I'm sure one of them are going to. It's your boy, Badge Plug. You have been plugged in. Go take that free money. The link is in the description. You gotta be 18 plus, man. It's literally free cash, bro. Like actually free cash and I'm out. Peace.